Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Let's be honest, for the past 10 years or so, we've all wanted to be witches or wizards. I mean, learning spells and fighting evil snake-like people would be awesome. But I also really want invisibility cloaks to be real. I don't need one though, since my animator can make me invisible whenever he wants. That's a scary thought, actually. But it would be a cool thing for humans to have. And believe it or not, scientists are getting kinda close to making these dreams come true. And you don't even have to live in a major copyrighted movie franchise to experience it. The key is distorting the way light bounces off an object. We're able to see things when light reaches our eyes. That light can be emitted from an object, like the sun. Or it can enter your eye by bouncing off an object like this ridiculously large apple. If we want to hide this apple, we just have to change the way that the light gets scattered off its surface. But that's much easier said than done. See, to do this, we need to use something called a metamaterial, which is a material whose structure makes it exhibit properties that don't occur naturally, like invisibility, for example. A team of researchers created a metamaterial to do this, which wraps around a three-dimensional object, just like a cloak would. But don't expect this metamaterial to keep you very warm, because it is only 80 nanometers thick. To put that into perspective, there are 1 million nanometers in a single millimeter. So this material is incredibly thin. To actually make it work, it's covered in tiny brick-shaped gold antennas of different sizes to control how the reflected light gets scattered. And when the researchers used light with a wavelength of 730 nanometers, the light reflected off the cloaked object as if it were a flat mirror instead. Theoretically, you can tune the cloak so it shows the object's background, or even something else completely. Like this giant apple could now be a giant Brussels sprout. Very few people would want to eat it, but it could be that. But sadly, this technology is still far away from actually concealing a person. For starters, it's only able to conceal very tiny objects. So you, or a particular boy wizard, would still be very visible. And it would also have to work for a wide range of wavelengths, not just one. Oh, and there's also the issue that in order to actually be hidden, you have to be standing completely still. If you moved, the illusion would no longer work. Minus five points for Griffin. Can we say that? No? Never mind. So are there any other ways to become invisible? Well, if you want to be hidden from visible light, you could also hide yourself using standard lenses. But it would only work for a few viewing angles, and it's pretty bulky, so no cloak, unfortunately. But what if you wanted to be hidden from something else instead? Like radar, for example. Granted, you or a military plane would still be visible to anyone watching, but to a radar system, it's possible to go virtually unnoticed. Now, there are lots of ways to do this, but the one most similar to an invisibility cloak is a radar absorbent material that coats the plane like iron ball paint. Basically, any incoming radar signals that reach the plane are dissipated away as heat, thanks to some complicated physics going on in the material. But sadly, you're a person, and not a plane, and radar isn't what you're trying to hide from. At least, I uh, think it's not. The research so far is promising, but it's probably going to be a very long time until we actually have a true invisibility cloak. But baby steps, am I right? What sci-fi or fantasy technology do you want to be real? Let me know in the comment section below. This video, as most of our videos are, was written by the wonderful and talented head writer of Life Noggin, Kaylee Yuhas. She made a Harry Potter themed video talking about some of the weird creatures in the world, and you have to check it out. But sadly for Harry Potter fans like myself, in the real world, Fluffy would probably only have two heads and not three. Still intimidating, just a little bit less. But then there's also the fact that Fluffy and a bunch of other creatures like Aragog the Acromantula are giant. Go show her some love. Tell her Blocko sent you. There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.